In the 18th century, sailing battleships were the most powerful war machines on the high seas. These massive vessels, made of wood and propelled by the wind, were capable of carrying hundreds of men and dozens of guns and played a critical role in the naval warfare of the time. In today's video, we will be showing you how an 18th century sailing battleship works. Without further ado, let's begin. Construction of the Sailing Battleship The construction of an 18th century sailing battleship began with a selection of suitable timber, which was cut down and transported to the shipyard. The timber was then sawn and shaped into various components of the ship, including the keel, stem, stern posts, frames, and planks. Once the basic frame of the ship had been constructed, the deck was laid, and the mast, rigging, and sails were installed. The sails were made from canvas and were attached to the mast and yards using ropes and pulleys, known as blocks. The guns were then installed on the gun deck, along with the ammunition and gunpowder stores. In the 18th century, a typical sailing battleship might carry up to 100 guns of various sizes and calibers ranging from small swivel guns to massive 32-pounder cannons. Operation of the Sailing Battleship The operation of an 18th century sailing battleship was a complex process that required a large crew and careful coordination between different departments. At the heart of the ship was a steering system, which was operated by the helmsman using a tiller or wheel. The sails were controlled by the crew on the deck who used ropes and pulleys to adjust the angle of the sails and the direction of the ship. The guns were operated by the gun crews, who were responsible for loading and firing the cannons. This was a complex and dangerous process that required careful timing and coordination, as well as a great deal of physical strength and endurance. In battle, the sailing battleship would use its guns to engage enemy vessels. Firing broadsides of cannonballs and other projectiles, the ship would maneuver to try to gain a tactical advantage over its opponents, using its speed and agility to evade enemy fire and get into position for a decisive strike. One important aspect of the sailing battleship was its ability to withstand the harsh conditions of the open sea. These ships were designed to be sturdy and seaworthy, with a low center of gravity and a deep draft that allowed them to sail through rough waters without capsizing. To further improve their stability, many sailing battleships were equipped with a system of ballast, which consisted of heavy weights such as stones or sandbags placed in the lower part of the ship. This helped to keep the ship steady in rough seas and prevented it from rolling over. Another important aspect of the sailing battleship is its crew. A typical sailing battleship might have a crew of several hundred men, including sailors, gunners, officers, and marines. These men worked long hours in difficult and dangerous conditions, facing the constant threat of enemy fire, disease, and accidents. Despite these challenges, the crew of the sailing battleship was highly skilled and well-trained, with a deep understanding of the workings of the ship and the tactics of naval warfare. They were also highly disciplined with strict rules and regulations governing their behavior and conduct on board. Overall, the sailing battleship was a remarkable achievement of the 18th century engineering and technology. These massive vessels played a critical role in the naval warfare of the time and helped to shape the course of history. While the era of the sailing battleship has long since passed, their legacy lives on as a testament to the skill and bravery of the men who sailed them. Another important aspect of an 18th century sailing battleship was its navigation system. Navigation in those times relied heavily on celestial observation, such as using the position of the stars and the sun to determine a ship's location. To aid in this process, many sailing battleships were equipped with instruments such as sextants and chronometers. To ensure the safety of the ship and its crew, sailing battleships were also equipped with a variety of safety features. This included lifeboats and other flotation devices, as well as systems for detecting and combating fires on board. Perhaps one of the most important safety features of a sailing battleship was its communication system. This typically relied on a system of flags, 
signals, and verbal commands, which allowed the crew to communicate with each other and coordinate their actions during the battle. One of the key components of an 18th century sailing battleship was its sails. These were made of durable materials such as canvas or hemp and were typically held in place by wooden masts and rigging. The sails were adjusted using a system of ropes and pulleys, allowing the ship to catch the wind and maneuver in different directions. To maximize the efficiency of the sails, many sailing battleships were equipped with a system of multiple masts and sails, known as a rigging plan. This allowed the ship to adjust its sail configuration depending on the wind direction and speed and helped to improve its overall speed and maneuverability. Another important feature of the sailing battleship was its armament. These ships were typically equipped with a variety of cannons and other weapons, which were used to engage enemy ships in naval battles. The size and type of armament varied depending on the size and purpose of the ship, with larger battleships carrying more powerful and numerous guns. The cannons on a sailing battleship were typically mounted on gun decks, which were located below the main deck of the ship. The gun decks were designed to allow for the firing of the cannons in a safe and efficient manner, while also protecting the crew from enemy fire. The crew of a sailing battleship was responsible for a wide range of tasks, from navigating the ship to operating the cannons and other weapons. They were also responsible for maintaining the ship and repairing any damage that occurred during battle or due to normal wear and tear. In addition to their military duties, the crew of a sailing battleship also had to deal with the daily challenges of life at sea. This included preparing and cooking meals, cleaning the ship, and caring for the sick and injured. The 18th century sailing battleship was a remarkable feat of engineering and design. These massive vessels were a symbol of the military power and technological prowess of the nations that built them and played a role in shaping the course of world history. Today, sailing battleships are primarily a relic of the past, but their legacy lives on as a testament to the skill and bravery of the men who sailed them. In the 18th century, sailing battleships were the most powerful war machines on the high seas. These massive vessels made of wood and propelled by the wind were capable of carrying hundreds of men and dozens of guns and played a critical role in the naval warfare of the time. The construction and operation of these ships was a complex process that required a large crew and careful coordination between different departments. The sailing battleship was a testament to the ingenuity and skill of naval architects and shipbuilders of the time and remains an enduring symbol of the age of sail. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.